Hi everyone, today we're going to study first and second derivatives of parametric equations. Let us first define parametric equation. A parametric equation defines a group of quantities as functions of one or more independent variables called parameters. For example, we have here a parametric equation. We have x equals 5t square, y equals 2t plus 1. In this equation, we call t as the parameter. Let us go now to the first and second derivatives of parametric equations. If x equals x of t and y equals y of t are differentiable functions of x and dx over dt is not equal to zero, then the first derivative dy over dx is given by dy over dx equals dy over dt. This is the derivative of the y function with respect to t all over dx over dt. This is the derivative of the function x with respect to t. Now, the second derivative of the parametric equations is given by this equation. This is equal to 1 over dx over dt times d over dt of the first derivative dy over dx. In words, take the derivative of the first derivative with respect to x, then divide it by dx over dt, which is already found from the first derivative rule. Let us see example 1. Find the derivative of the parametric equation x equals a t square, y equals 2 a t at the point t equals 2. For our solution, we need the dx over dt, also the dy over dt. This is the derivative of this function with respect to t. So dx over dt equals 2 at, while the dy over dt is the derivative of this y function with respect to t. This is now equal to 2a. Now, the derivative of parametric equation is now given here. So we have dy over dt all over dx over dt. Substituting the corresponding values, we have now the dy over dt to be this 2a, and the dx over dt is the 2at. We can see that there is a common in the numerator and denominator that we can cancel. That is the 2a. So the answer here is simplified into 1 over t. Now, at t equals 2, let us substitute the value of t as 2 in here. So now, dy over dx is equal to 1 half. This is our final answer. Let us see this example to find the equation of the line tangent to the curve at the given point and then find the second derivative of the parametric equation. The equations are x equals 2 cosine t and y equals 
टू साइन टी एट द पॉइंट टी इक्वल्स पाई ओवर फोर फॉर आवर सॉल्यूशन लेट अस फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद द टेंजेंट लाइन वी नोट दैट द डी वाई ओवर डी एक्स और द फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव एट द गिवन पॉइंट इज द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन so now with respect of the parametric equation we need the dx over dt and the dy over dt this dx over dt is equal to 2 times the derivative of this cosine t is negative sin t we can simplify this into negative 2 sin t now dy over dt is the derivative of this function y so we have now 2 times the derivative of sin t is cos sin t next our dy over dx this is the first derivative is equal to dy over dt all over dx over dt substituting the corresponding values we have now this 2 cos sin t all over negative 2 sin t we can simplify here by canceling the constants our final answer is negative cosine t over sin t now at t is equal to pi over 4 let us substitute this value of t in here by then we can get the slope So we have now the slope is equal to the negative of cosine pi over 4 all over sine of pi over 4. Substituting the corresponding values for cosine and sine of pi over 4, it is the same. So we have this negative 1 over square root of 2 all over 1 over square root of 2. We can see that the numerator and denominator are the same. So we can cancel this out into negative 1. The next thing we need is the point xy. We are going to evaluate the parametric function at t equals pi over 4. Let us copy the equations here again. and substituting the value pi over 4 to the t so we have x equals 2 cosine of pi over 4 and the y equals 2 sine of pi over 4 this cosine pi over 4 we had the value a while ago here so we write 2 times 1 over square root of 2 we can simplify the product here into square root of 2 for the y this is equal to 2 sin of pi over 4 this is equal to 2 times 1 over square root of 2 and this is equal to the square root of 2 so the point that we need is the square root of 2 comma square root of 2 Now for the equation of line we have this standard form y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1 substituting the corresponding values we have the y minus square root of 2 equals the m now becomes negative 1 times the quantity x minus square root of 2 simplifying the right side we have now this negative x plus square root of 2 to simplify further this negative square root of 2 we are going to transpose on the right but there is this positive square root of 2 then later on they will be combined so our answer now becomes y equals negative x plus 2 square root of 2 this is now our final answer this is a tangent line 
Let us copy this answer opposite the tangent line in here. Next, let us solve for the second derivative. For this formula, we need the values dx over dt is equal to negative 2 sine t. We were able to get this value a while ago. Also, the dy over dx that is equal to negative cosine t over sine t. But wait a minute. The cosine t over sine t can be further simplified into negative cotangent t. Now, let us substitute these values in our second derivative formula. So we have now 1 over the dx over dt is this negative 2 sine t times d over dt of dy over dx. Taking the derivative of this, we have now the negative sign. Also, the derivative of cotangent t is negative cosecant square t. Now, negative and negative becomes positive. Also, we can see that we have a sine t here. This cosecant square t is related to the sign that we can take the reciprocal. So we have now this expression to be 1 over sine square t. There are sine functions in the denominators respectively. So we can combine them together. And this is now equal to negative 1 over 2 sine cube of t. This is our final answer. Find dy over dx given x equals cosine t and y equals sine t. For the step 1, we will take the derivative of these two functions with respect to t. Let's begin with dx over dt. So derivative of x with respect to t for this cosine t. So we have the negative sine t. Next, dy over dt. So sine t, the derivative is cosine t. Then step 2, we will have the dy over dx and our formula dy over dt over dx over dt. Simply, we substitute the corresponding values. So in the numerator, we have the cosine t over denominator, the negative sine t. Using our identity, we can simplify this into negative cotangent t. Example 4. Find dy over dx given x equals t cubed minus t and y equals 4 minus t square. Step 1. We take derivative of this function x and function y with respect to t. Let's begin with dx over dt. So derivative of t cubed is 3t squared. Derivative of negative t is negative 1. Next, dy over dt. Derivative of 4 is 0. Derivative of negative t squared is negative 2t. Then step 2, let us find dy over dx and we have the formula dy over dt over dx over dt. Let us substitute the corresponding values. In the numerator, this is the negative 2t in here over the denominator 3t squared minus 1. We cannot simplify this fraction anymore, so this is our final answer. Example 5. Find the second derivative given x equals 2t and y equals t square minus 3. Step 1. We take the derivative of the functions with respect to t. 
Let's begin with dx over dt. Derivative of 2t is 2. Then dy over dt. Derivative of t square is 2t. Derivative of minus 3 is 0. We don't write anymore. Then step 2. The dy over dx. With our formula, dy over dt over dx over dt. We substitute the corresponding values. In the numerator, dy over dt is 2t over the dx over dt, which is 2. From here, we can simplify. We can cancel the 2 and 2 respectively. Finally, dy over dx equals t. Now the step 3, the second derivative. We have this formula. The d over dt of dy over dx multiplied by dt over dx. Note that this dy over dx is our answer in step 2. And this dt over dx is the reciprocal of this dx over dt. Let us now substitute the values. The d over dt of dy over dx, we change this by the value t times dt over dx. We take the reciprocal of dx over dt. We have here 2, so we write here 1 over 2. Then we take the derivative of t with respect to t. So derivative is 1 times the constant 1 half. Finally, the answer is 1 half. This is the second derivative.